In your iPhone's Wi-Fi settings, find and connect to the network named with the first eight digits of the serial number on the silver label on the scanner's back. After connecting, open the RevoScan app and tap the settings icon in the top right corner to choose your language. Also, here you can access the RevoScan user guide in connection or watch tutorial videos. Before starting a scanning, select your scan settings based on the type of object being scanned. Firstly, select the scan accuracy. Three options are available, high accuracy mode, standard accuracy mode, and high speed, 18 frames per second, mode. Next, choose the tracking method. Select the feature tracking mode for scanning objects with feature-rich surfaces. Or, if scanning a featureless object, place markers on the object's surface and select marker tracking mode. Next, set the object type. You can choose between general, dark, or faces. Finally, decide whether to enable color scanning. The model preview area has a toolbar in the top right corner, which includes four tools, base removal, scan distance adjustment, display color, and reset view buttons. Enabling base removal will automatically delete flat surfaces like tabletops during the scan. Tapping the scan distance adjustment icon allows the depth camera's working distance to be adjusted. Tapping the display color button toggles the object's color data. Tapping the Reset View button centers the model on the selected plane. The depth cameras and RGB cameras preview windows are on the left side of the interface. In the depth camera preview window, select either automatic exposure or manually adjust it. Until the depth camera preview interface displays minimal red and blue areas on the object. If doing a color scan, select automatic exposure or manually adjust the RGB exposure values to ensure accurate colors in the RGB preview image. If the scanner has flash LEDs, tap this button to turn them on or off. Once the settings are completed, begin the scan. Pay attention to the work distance indicator bar at the top of the window and ensure it stays green during the scan. After finishing the scan, tap on the model button in the bottom right corner. This will take you to the model processing page, where the point cloud can be one tap processed or manually edited. If you use one tap processing, the app will automatically fuse, mesh, and apply color data, if doing a color scan, to create a finished 3D model. If you opt for manual processing, the first step is to perform point cloud fusion. After fusion is complete, tap Isolation Detection. Use the Overlap Detection tool to identify and remove redundant and unnecessary data in the point cloud. Tap on Smooth to remove smooth the point cloud. After point cloud fusion, continue to meshing. Use automatic hole filling if you want to fill holes in your model. Use the simplification tool to reduce the file size and noise. The isolation and smoothing tools in mesh settings work in about the same way as their point cloud counterparts. In either fused or meshed states, model editing can be performed by tapping the rectangular or lasso selection tool to select and delete areas you want to remove. For colored models, apply texture mapping to colorize the model. You can switch between various processing stages on the left side of the preview window. Tap the button in the top right corner to either resume scanning or take screenshots. After completing the modeling processing, you can export single or multiple files in different formats. Note, only project files can be transferred to a PC. Make sure your phone and computer are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Open RevoScan on a PC. Click New Project, click the file in the menu, then click Import from Phone, and choose either inputting the verification code or scanning the QR code. Last but not least, we frequently update RevoScan, so please remember to keep it up to date.